how the food catering is loaded onto the world's biggest airplane behind me. What an interesting process in the kitchen here. Sam, we washed 14,000 glasses a day. Whoa! Wow! Welcome to our show kitchen. They want to show me what kind of food I will get on board. going to try out the Western option designed by Chef Dennis. Kung Pao chicken. Oh, 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 no. First time into a catering truck. This is the chill appetizer. He made 300 pillows a day. But I think for the cabin cleanliness here, you know, you can tell Singapore Airlines done a lot of work behind the scenes. Guys, this is heavy. This is almost like 30 kilograms. Today, I got a field trip out here to the airport to uh, learn and watch how the food catering is loaded onto the world's biggest airplane behind me, an A380. And now the safety procedure is done, and now the driver get up, and open the door and change the trolley. Wow! First time into a catering truck. Yeah. <laughs> Had to climb up really high up here. Isn't this amazing? This is an elevator. It can go up to the airplane door level. Not bad. We should use this catering truck for airplane spotting as well because it can go up and down like a lift. They only have one hour to load up the whole A380. So everything has to be arranged in a perfect order to ready to load in and out. This is the passage, how the catering truck elevated. Now we reach the second door. We can come inside like this. This is how they offload and load the new catering. Now they're first loading the new fresh uh, laundry and linen. Oh, and now he's also removing the old dirty yeah. ones yeah. back. I the... see. So now you can see the cabin here. Singapore Airlines, very clean I must say. They remove all the dirty cover and during the turnaround and put a fresh one in. I don't think every airline's doing this honestly, but I think for the cabin cleanliness here, you know, you can tell Singapore Airlines done a lot of work behind the scenes here. And this is the chill appetizer in this cart. Let's go into the galley. Now let me give you a hand. Food, going inside. What's this inside here? What's this cold pack here? Ice. Uh, ice. ice. Oh, just ice. And I'm taking out all the trash. Guys, this is heavy. This is almost like 30 kilograms. This is such an interesting experience. I love this kind of work because I got to see what's behind all the preparation. And of course, I'm just here for acting to help out, but still, I learn a lot. Sam, totally we loaded 14 in upper deck and 25 in the lower deck. Now we're complete. Yeah. Quick. Working. That was less than one hour turnaround. Yes, I can teach you. <laughs> yeah? As a from, first from where? Yeah, unit, as a unit. As ah, a here, from here. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah nice. Yes. I mean, I love this pillow. Look at how nice the pillow is, plush. <laughs> Economy class, Singapore Airlines, good pillow. But imagine this man here, he made 300 pillows a day. <laughs> After one hour hard work, what a transformation. Everything is just like brand new. Everything here just feel like fresh. Okay, for my Zurich, we're gonna give you a behind the scene tour in our facility where we produce up to 65,000 meals a day. Come on, let's, let's go. go! So Sam, this is our goods receiving area where we decant most of our products 
we make a, a security check and a quality check here before uh, items are then loaded into these grey bins and stored away in our dry store. So here we start our uh, washing process for all the incoming materials from the airline. Interesting about this conveyor, all the trades and all the plates go this way and all the garbage go up there. So what an interesting process in the kitchen here. Okay, Sam, so here on the clean side, after three and a half minutes washing, the equipment comes out clean and washed, disinfected by temperature and by chemicals. We wow. wash it with chemicals and with hot water. All automated, machinely done, three and a half minutes. No hand washing. Sam, we wash 14,000 glasses a day and all of them need to be spotless. Let me have a look. Yeah, I can see top to the bottom, spotless. And how many do you break every day in here? Oh, we can't say, but it's not that many. Good to see you guys. You guys are the hero behind. Yeah. I, I knew I'm gonna meet you here someday. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make one video so you will see on YouTube soon. Yeah. So not only the glassware and the chinaware needs to be washed, also the trolleys are cleaned and disinfected. Sam, you know what is this here? This is all the oven racks, we call them, where we place the meals on for later in the oven in the aircraft. And they are also washed. They are very clean, very washed and sanitized. So now we're going to the kitchen. That's why we're doing this, right? Yes. yes. Okay, I got it. How many times do you do this every day? I can do that up to 20 times. Oh, it smells it very hot, nice actually. It is, it is the hot kitchen. It smells nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mushroom. One of our biggest uh, constraints we have is consistency. In order that every meal is cooked the same, we have invented CRA. Okay. It's called Recipe assembly. Yeah? We do this collective. So if you look at this trolley, we have a sheet here where everything is weighed for the recipe. The chef has a recipe. He can look at it. He knows what he needs to cook and for how many. And in order this, to keep this, we assembly these trolleys already for the chef. So chef is getting the trolley and then he can start basically cook. This is a boiler, right? This is a boiler. This is a boiler. Uh, if we boil the vegetable. Yes. You can boil, you can braise, you can also slow cook. It is, it's a multifunctional tool. Everything is done still very conventional, like in any other kitchen you can find. This is rare. That is correct. Why is it like that? We are only coloring it here, and afterwards, you will see, it will go into the oven where we sear it. And from the chicken breast, which you just saw being fried, we produce about 1,000 to 1,200 every day. So this is where we cook everything. You saw the chicken just now. After it's cooked, it is in here. Cook and chill process. Ah, That's this is where, where they are chilling. Yeah, and I love the fans. Whoa! <laughs> yes. Steam <laughs> What is this? This is danger. Chili danger. Yeah. Sam, one of the things we are very proud here in this kitchen is we still have a dedicated patisserie. We still make our in-house desserts and cakes. Come on, can you smell it? Mm. Still hot. Oh. Look at it. Oh, crumble. Crumble is rhubarb. Wow. Guys, I wish you can smell in the camera. This is for, uh, what is this? This is butter and sugar, schumigrüren, kohlei, mehl, asen and baku. Okay, so this is the base for the cake. Now we have seen the cooking, we have seen the preparation, and here we see the dishing out the preparation for the next flight. Oh, this yeah. is the packing here, That's the assembly. The make, we call it making pack. Are you hungry? Very hungry. You're ensuring consistency and the yes. weight. Correct. More or less the same, right? Every Always. single plate. No, it has to be. The same. Has to be exactly it the same. Has to be the same. Wow. Hello, this is your rhubarb cake. Look at it, like in the bakery. So this is the final product. That's the final product. Oh. And now it will go into the bowl. Look at this. Oh my God! This is the craft with the asparagus. I love it. <laughs> and you have to pick the good one, right? Yes. Yeah.
Sam, one thing I wanted to show you what we are really proud of is and what we do here is bringing people from uh, into the work life again in, into the system, people who had maybe a burnout, who have left the working force and coming slowly back. Uh, we have dedicated area here, they're doing a lighter duty, they have to, for instance, cutlery packing, checking the cutlery that is clean, that is packed and with a napkin inside and collecting all those items. Those people are uh, uh, special to us because we become like a family, we work together as a family and we are proud to helping them actually coming back into the workforce. 80 people who help us to make 65,000 passengers happy a day. Welcome back to Singapore Airlines. So I just came on board and the um, flight's really, really full. But I was very lucky. At check-in, I was able to get one of the bulkhead seats. 91 Delta. Yeah, it sounds scary. 91 all the way to the back. Um, and this is a bulkhead seat. You have unlimited um, leg room, limited leg room. So I was really, really happy with this seat here. And uh, of course, I'm looking forward to see all the catering later. Chef Dennis and also the Asian option designed by Chef CK. Let's see which one's better. So this is the dish yesterday I was looking at Chef Dennis cooking. Hi Sam, welcome to our show kitchen. Oh. It's a slow cooked real cheek. Real this, this is really uh, mm. really specific for uh, mm. Swiss. The Swiss people love the, the uh, brace real ah, cheeks. They like this kind of and it's very soft. It's, it must be very, very tender. Soft, very yeah. tender and the sauce is intensive. Cut around. Ah, so you're taking all these middle uh, things out. Correct. Right. Okay. Make, make, make nice. it smooth. Look nice. nice. Oh. Oh. This is the part what we use for the slow cooked wheel cheek. Let yes. me tell you, it was this big and Correct. it reduced to this. Yes. Look at the size difference. So now you put the artichoke in a, in a vacuum bag. Vacuum bag. And together with a really tasty um, vegetable stock and give the flavor to the artichoke. This step is really important to cook sous vide. Mm. Because otherwise, if you have loose uh, uh, air inside, then it's, it's not working. We put out 100% of the air and we have just in the back the stock together with the artichokes. Just wow. the stock and the Look at this. artichokes. But this is a boiler. This is 85 degrees. Correct. You can see it here. Uh -huh. Sam, you know I, I love my job because I can develop for different customers uh, great menus and millions of people can taste it in the aircraft. That plating was so beautiful. Um, the meat's very tender, but to be honest, there's a lot, a lot of vegetable. I'm not so used to so much vegetable. It might not be my kind of dish. Cooking kung pao chicken. Yeah. Vinegar. And then basically we just simmer it. Or oh, this is in Cantonese. We say this is lo chao, and this is thickening with the starch. Okay. Slowly yeah. until the uh, consistency that you want. Kung Pao is only using chicken thighs. And the chicken is fully cooked now. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put start to put the sauce in. Cashew nuts at the end. Yeah, here, Kung Pao chicken coming up. Oh, oh, oh no! no. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna eat it like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think we put the rice on top. Let's put the rice on top and, and eat it like this. Yes, family style. Yeah. Okay, I think it was a tight race. It was both are very good, but I think there's a personal preference. The Asian dish came out a little bit better for me as a personal preference. Yeah, thank you very much it's for serving me. It's good to know you enjoyed your movie,
And thank you so much for spoiling me. Only on Singapore Airlines, you get to choose two main courses instead of one. Thank you so much.